New this morning, Upstate Carpentry students are making an impact on women facing homelessness in our area. Fox Carolina's Lindsay Gibbs is live this morning in Spartanburg with the project that will help their trade and their community. Lindsay. Good morning, and this is just a small look into one window of all the things that the students here at Daniel Morgan Science Center do. Now, this is more of a trade school, so lots of students come here to focus on careers in 14 different areas. Now, that can range from culinary arts to carpentry, and students here, about 24 of them from Broom High School and Spartanburg High, are working on six tiny homes like this one to help the homeless community here in the upstate. Now, the homes will be donated to First Baptist Church in Spartanburg for their Bridgeway Village village project. The church first announced their project in April of last year to help women facing homelessness. The homes will be 400 square feet with two bedrooms and one bathroom. Students are hard at work. We uh, talked to the carpenter instructor about their progress so far on these tiny homes. We're doing six identical houses, uh, so we build one wall at a time, do it six times, um, and so they're learning not only are they learning the, the process of framing up a house, but they're also learning time schedules and how to get things done on time and, and basically in a hurry. And sometimes we have to change things. Now, when the Bridgeway Village opens later this year, there will be a total of 18 tiny homes where women will be able to stay for 12 to 18 months. During this time, residents will take classes in money management and relationship building and job training. Each resident will have a personal counselor, case manager, and advocate. A Bridgeway Village will actually be located on Green Street in Spartanburg. You do have to apply if you want to become a resident. Applications are not open yet, but when Bridgeway Village opens later this year, they'll be accepting applications. For now, here in Spartanburg, Lindsay Gibbs, Fox Carolina News.